here sublimating on a color changing digital alarm clock that we bought off aliexpress so this alarm clock is a small cube like object and it does come with four metal plates that you will actually sublimate on and you will just stick it onto the clock so this is what the plates look like you will get four pieces and the measurement for those is 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches i did went ahead and print out my pictures three inches by three inches that way i know i'm covering all the edges and i will just frame the plate onto the image and i will tape it down with some heat tape but before you do that, there is a plastic foam on the plate. So be sure to go ahead and peel that off so your print can be visible on your little 2.5 by 2.5 plate. I will press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So I do have my heat press going and I'll just go ahead and get my images taped down onto the plates make sure it is secure on there and it doesn't move while we're pressing the images so i'm just using two pieces of tape so that's going straight across and that should be sufficient to hold it down and after i tape it i'll show you what it looks like there we go i do have excesses so i will go ahead and i will cut that off i will not cut exactly to the edge like i said i will leave my paper bigger than the plate and we will put it on a heat press and all four pieces will look just like that so i just laid a piece of paper down and put the images down make sure the not the plate but the image the paper is facing up top and the plate is on the bottom and you cover it and you press for 60 seconds at 400 degree Make sure you cover your heat press because you don't want the ink residue on the bottom of your heat press plate. So that was my 60 seconds. We all know metal get pretty hot once heat is applied. So if you have a heat gloves, go ahead and put that on. I do have one, but I do not feel like pausing. So here we go. And that came out pretty good. I did print from my ET 16600 printer on A4, well, 8.5 by 11 sublimation sheet. And I put all four images on one paper and I just went ahead and cut them, cut the squares up. I will give you a look at all four images after this. It's, I can't hold them too long because it is extremely hot. I am very satisfied with the um, color, the way it came out there you go he said all four images that's my little guy he's six now all these pictures are from years ago and that's all four images while i'm um, applying this we will apply it to the clock so you will need to remove the white paper from each side and after you remove that you will notice the clock the residue it is a sticky residue that will hold your plates on there you will remove from each side and you will just place your plates while doing this i did notice the top plate seems to be a little wider than the other three plates so you will definitely know which one is the top plate so next time i'll pay more attention to that if you have like a particular image you want to put on top but I didn't have any particular images. I was just doing four pictures of my baby boy. So basically we're just peeling and stick, peel and stick. This is a color changing clock. So it has all the buttons at the bottom for you to set the time, date, and alarm. And also for you to change the colors. I guess you just press it once and the colors keep changing. Like I did purchase this from AliExpress. I have a video showing the sublimation blanks that I bought from AliExpress. I did buy quite a few. 
So if you haven't seen that video, just go ahead and search my videos. It should be like right below this one. That's the video I posted right before I post this video. And there we go. That's the time man. that's little man. And I will press the button so you can see the different colors on the light. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I did throw this. I'm not sure if I have this on my Etsy shop. I do have an Etsy, Etsy shop. Ruru's Creations. I will just put the name below. For some reason my link don't paste very well on here. That is okay. And hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, peace out. Have a great day.